get on this. Another round underway in what has been a very fan-friendly fight. George Foreman. Wow! Evander Holyfield's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. What an impactful left hand by George Foreman. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Real Deal. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Final 10 seconds. As we come to the end of the underway here to live fight action, tough fight to score. Oh, Evander Holyfield stunned and staggered. Holy cow, a fierce right hand by George Foreman. Evander Holyfield shoving his opponent there. George Foreman's now battling two opponents. The guy standing opposite him trying to punch him and his eyes swelling. Yeah, he can't see what's coming at him right now. Where's the body? Gets rid of that. It was intended. Oh! George Foreman's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. So far tonight, he was being right, completely on, on, outworked, Working but out. Working now out. we no see holding. him being more the aggressor. Ball was starting to get a little late. He understood he needed to change things a little. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Oh, and there you go. Evander Holyfield in bad shape. Wow. That's a crushing right hand by on, George Punch Foreman. It Punch it out. No holding. Foreman's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Holyfield's opponent is really getting away with one here because he hasn't been the victim of any body work. No, well, he should have talked to a plumber because, you know, he should ask the plumber, hey, if a guy has a real nice house, you know, you know, how can I, how can I mess it up? There it is! George Foreman's been stunned! Evander Holyfield's... Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Foreman, able, and he catches a lucky break. Saved 
by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Holy cow! What an intense left hand by George Foreman. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Foreman's showing that he doesn't have any head movement defensively whatsoever. What else is there, Ted? Well, there's legs. Start using your legs a little bit. Get out of range. One way or the other, get out of the other man's talking place. Good looking counter punch. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Evander uh, Holyfield's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Holyfield's being very efficient right here. I mean, he's just picking his shots. His accuracy is through the roof. Well, that's one of the talents, and you hope is a talent, of a top fighter, is his ability to pick his shots, to be calm enough to see the openings. He's seeing everything right now. Fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Oh, and there you go. Foreman with a formidable hook. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a... down blue or red corner. What he did early. Because... State is underway. Beat him to the punch. See, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good defense, just covering up down low. Holyfield's got to deal with a cut cheek. Good scoring counter punch by Real Deal. The halfway point of round number eight. Great movement to get away from those punches. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Holyfield's now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times, and that is, how do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage? Look at that cut around the eye. Well, for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut. When you see your first blood, when you see it, that it's your blood, how do you behave? We're going to find out right